We are back now with a People Magazine and Today exclusive. Longtime entertainment journalist Maria Menunos is opening up about her health battle. Maria has accomplished a lot in her 44 years covering Hollywood. In fact, for a while for Today and other shows, she's even taken a spin on Dancing with the Stars. Right. And along the way, she's uh, been open about her health. She was diagnosed with a benign brain tumor six years ago and has since recovered from that. And now for the first time, she's revealing her stage two pancreatic cancer diagnosis. But the great news is Maria says God granted her a miracle. Not only is she cancer free, but she's also expecting her first baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good to see you, Maria. Hey, so good to see you. You look, you look wonderful. Uh, and, and here's the thing. You you are living proof of, of listening to your body. Yeah. When you know something's wrong, and also a, a cautionary tale because we hear so many times how doctors sometimes dismiss, especially what women are saying about what's going on. Yeah, that's definitely a problem I hear a lot is that women feel like they're not heard, but also doctors aren't God. They're mm -hmm. people too, and they're really busy. They're really overwhelmed. That You know how hard they've had it since COVID. So you really have to take the responsibility of being your own doctor. And I've been saying this since the brain tumor. You've got to listen to your bodies. For me, it's feel something, say something, do something, and then keep doing the something until mm -hmm. someone tells you what's happening. And so, you know, I, I look at health like I'm the coach of the team. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put my quarterback at in, in defense. Yeah. And I'm not going to put my, my defense on offense. So I know who my team is. I've got my primary care doctor. Mm -hmm. I've got Western medicine. I've got Eastern medicine. I have a naturopath. My naturopath is going to be the investigator. She's going to get to the bottom of everything. She's going to spend two hours with me. God bless her. I love her so much. She's going to put two and two together with me. Mm -hmm. But still, we weren't able to put two and two together with this. It was so hard because pancreatic cancer is really kind of asymptomatic yeah. they say so for me I kept feeling this throbbing in my upper mm -hmm. left so I know a lot of people are asking questions like yeah. how does she know what are the early signs and so you know Monday I'm gonna go live on my show heel squad just to answer these questions because what? I know people want to know so mm -hmm. The TMI is loose stool. I had diarrhea for like a month and a half. Mm. I did all the stool tests, nothing came back. Mm. For this pancreatic cancer, there is blood tests that will test what hormones your body's secreting and that will tell you what you have. Mine wasn't secreting anything, so you wouldn't have mm. found it that way. Mm. So I was having this throbbing and I kept telling people this doesn't feel right. Then I had bouts of severe abdominal pain mm. and then it would go away. Now normally, in my previous life, before I was focused on my health, I would be like, okay, cool, it's over with. Get back to work. Right, and right. yeah. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. And I kept trying to get to the bottom of it. And I swear my mom just came through this woman, Alina, and said, get to this screening. So the other message is, if the pain continues to persist and your doctors don't know what's going on, mm -hmm. go to an outside facility like this and get an, uh, uh, an outside MRI because they're incentivized to find something. Mm -hmm. I know they're not covered by insurance. I know it costs a lot of money. So I will tell you, I'm working diligently to get this covered by insurance for people, and it's my mission. I'm going to get it covered mm -hmm. for everyone to have an annual scan because it just makes sense. Is that if one of the things you cover on Health Squad? Yeah, on Heal Squad. Heal so, Squad? For me, I know insurance companies will be incentivized to catch something at stage one rather than stage four. Yes. So it mm -hmm. makes total sense. We're going to get this Should done. Be. My friend Grant Verstandeg was the amazing. Um, CEO of Rally Health. I was an ambassador for him for years. I'm like, you're the man to do this job, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do this with you. But this is what Steve Jobs passed of, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. so he, he waited apparently a little long to get treatment. So this is where Western medicine comes in and saves. Like, you get it out. You've got a baby do the summer via surrogate. But can we give your father a little love yeah. this morning? I, you guys have been through <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Take me back to that moment. I can't even imagine for your father what this has been like. You were able to tell him, Dad, I'm cancer free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is me telling him that I was cancer free. My husband was capturing this. We had just mm -hmm. got home from Dr. Donahue's office. And uh, and you can see he's like so emotional. He really held it together through all of this. He was mm -hmm. such, so my rock oh, and God. just um, took care of me, cooked me amazing healthy food every day, mm -hmm. loved on me and I couldn't have done it without him. Obviously my husband, by the way, gets no credit, but honey, <laughs> he slept in the hospital with me every night. Oh my goodness. Um, but how yeah. do you feel? There yeah, how, by the way, the, happy? There that time with my dad was also like the, the craziest, most beautiful blessing. We got such quality time. Mm -hmm. Honey, 
I love you. Thank you for staying with me and taking care of me too. Aww. But how, uh, how are you feeling right yourself? now? I mean, how how I do you feel... stay so positive through everything you've been through and and I don't look at forward. it as a collective. It's funny. Mm. Your producers were like, how do you feel blessed? You've had all this crazy stuff happening. You started listing it off. And I go, I don't think about it like that. Mm. I just look at what's in front of me. Okay. Mm. And I know God is guiding me and protecting me at all times. So when it gets rocky, I just go back to my faith. And I'm like, okay, this is <laughs> happening for me, not to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the end of the story is. So I'm not going to go there. I did for a minute. Mm -hmm. And you know, we all do. And yeah. I was really, really scared, mostly because I had a baby coming. But I know... I know God has a place for me, and mm -hmm. I know that my mission is to help people with their health, and that's why I'm so blessed to be able to do my yeah. podcast every day because I get to live my mission. Wow. And you said it, you have a baby coming. Yeah. That's, that's so exciting. exciting. And I'm gonna get to meet her. I yes. know, you have to come back with her when you travel. Right. Can't wait to meet her too, Maria. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thank so you, good Maria. to see you. Yeah. And for more on Maria's story, you can pick up the latest issue of People Magazine on newsstands Friday. Be your own health advocate. We That's got it. it. Thank you, Maria. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.